Well, it was standing room only at a meeting at Sand Island tonight. An ambitious plan to make over the underused ocean park was the draw. And a diverse group of recreational users came together to sound off about the proposal. KITV 4's Catherine Cruz was there. It was an overflow crowd and a very passionate one at that. Some felt the proposal calling for a 400 slip marina, visitor center, and cafe would ruin the area for current users. That's like a safe haven for a lot of people. No more crowd, no more problems, no more this kind of all on wicked key action. You know what I mean? This is nonsense, this whole thing. From paddlers. To push paddlers all the way to the side for a private area where we can't have access, to me, is absurd. To fishermen. Are you building those slips for the local fishermen so they can park their boats there? But there were users who came in with ideas about their needs. We could use more parking, we could use better bathroom showers. There were others worried about displacement. It took a decade to get this BMX bike track in place, a $100,000 investment and no other alternative place to go for a growing sport for youngsters seven on up. It'll be a massive setback. It'll be a dagger through the heart. The state says a sandbox has always been on a month-to-month -month permit and was told from day one they couldn't be there indefinitely. And there were still those who worried about future conflicts with the city's plans to modernize and expand the Sand Island Sewage Treatment Plant. My concern is that the uh, land uses are not compatible for the sewage treatment plant, the aesthetics about that, the odors, and uh, will create problems with the people who are using the marina. The state's land director tried to underscore the plan is a jumping off point to find private money to upgrade our facilities. There's nothing cast in stone, but I have to tell you that I have uh, a duty to all the other taxpayers out there, to all the other voters out there, to look at other alternatives to generate revenue. That's why we're doing this. Now, this project still has a ways to go. There are environmental and cultural studies still to do, but now's the time for input because there may be better ideas out there about how to go about this ocean park makeover. Laura.